three, indicate whether the following processes are spontaneous or non-spontaneous. And then we have letter E. So is a raindrop falling to the ground, is this spontaneous or is this non-spontaneous? Well, I wrote down what's going on between spontaneous reactions and non-spontaneous reactions. Spontaneous reactions occur without any type of continuous energy from an outside or external source. To put it a different way, spontaneous reactions are natural. They just happen naturally under conditions, whatever those certain conditions are. Non-spontaneous reactions are the opposite. They need a continuous amount of energy from an external source. So you could think of non-spontaneous as not natural because they need that external source of energy from somewhere. Now, a raindrop falling to the ground. The criteria is that we here's my little cloud, right? <laughs> there's my little cloud, and here we go. We got some raindrops. Oh my goodness. They Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's that's as good as you're gonna get from me. I can write very nice, but I cannot draw. Anyway. So as the rain is coming to the ground, is this a natural process or or does this need some external source? Well, the conditions are, if, you, if it's going to rain, right, that basically our relative humidity is basically at our max, and that all of the water that's a gas in the air is now turning into liquid, right? So if that's the case, it's falling to the ground. And due to physics, we love physics, right? Due to physics... This is going with the, the course of gravity. And gravity is, is just a, you know, it's, it's an acceleration. Gravity is not a force. It is not a energy value. So this is happening naturally, right? Anytime that we let go of something, right, whether it's a pen or a pencil or a rock, it's always going to fall right down to the ground. That's the natural condition. So this rain, you know, falling from the, from the sky, right? A raindrop falling to the ground. That's natural because it's going with gravity, which is the natural acceleration on this earth. So since this is natural, this would be a spontaneous reaction. And there's no outside energy that is needed to make rain happen. Okay. That's it. What'd you think? I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope you all have a great day. I will talk to you soon. All right? Okay, bye-bye.